Okay, shalom, shalom, shalom. Come here, shalom. Kohol wa yimla, yahweh ba Hashem, yahweh shai, ba Hashem rakha hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Led by the Spirit, taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh ba Hashem, yahweh shai, to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan the Waf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And yeah, we got another Teeth of Wild Beast here, man. It says, Woman, 56, mauled to death by a pack of 25 Great Danes. Now I don't know where the hell she was at, that 25 Great Danes is on the loose. That's crazy, man. And, and that's judgment from Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. It's that, um, that Hebrews 10 and 31, it says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. That he's terrifying amongst the children of men. Roughly paraphrasing. You know I terrified? Just one damn dog. I've been terrified with just one dog. <laughs> 25 dogs. Great Danes. Great Danes are some of the biggest dogs in the world, man. As far as height wise. It's a very big dog. But I've never heard of Great Danes just being on the loosest, you know. Anyway. It says a woman has been mauled to death by dogs. As she walked on a popular hiking route in California. Where a pack of 25 Great Danes running loose had been discovered. Damn. Davina Corbin, 56, and you know she was terrified, was found um, deleted on a neighbor's porch with multiple bites over her body last week. I see they got a picture of a pack of them right here. Yeah, those are some big ass dogs. And they got to belong to somebody. Motherfuckers looking kind of healthy to me. Or if shit, who knows, man. Corbin was discovered on Black Hawk Trail in Feather Falls. Oh, man. You already know it. Um, that's uh, uh uh she could she could be a, a, a northern kingdom or she could be from one of them tribes or something, you know, because we can't go by how she looks. She she looks and appears to be a so-called white woman, but she could be an Israelite that's just got judgment because it's not a color thing, you know. It all um your seed line goes through your father. So, but it says okay, she was um Corbin was discovered on the Black Hawk Trail in Feather Falls. Around 90 miles north of Sacramento, around 2 a.m. Thursday. Damn, Salakia. She had numerous bite marks and injuries, and her clothing had DNA of domestic dogs on it. A medical examiner later determined she had died as a result of domestic dog attack. Authorities had obtained a search warrant following her death and captured 23 loose Great Dane dogs. I didn't know they was aggressive like that. Neither I know it's a big-ass dog. I guess you can't, you know, well, any dog cannot be aggressive and the Lord can place a spirit of vengeance on him. Because that's exactly what this is, a spirit of vengeance. These dogs were handed over to um, Butte County Animal Control as they searched for the two remaining animals. They confirmed tests would be carried out to determine if there is a link between DNA discovered on Corbin and the DNA of these animals. This would dictate which dog or dogs had mauled the California mother. Her neighbor... Revealed that she lived in the area and was often spotted on the trail and did not own a car. Neighbors shared their anger over Corbin's death and the loose, aggressive dogs. Her neighbor, Max Hecker, revealed that he had negative run-ins with the animals in, in the area, according to NBC affiliates. Nothing's been done about it until now. Wait until somebody gets killed by those dogs, he said. The Great Danes... They come across the road here at me, and I jump into the car, and I left. The road would be uh, be solid tracks of, of the dogs, and they'd be out here in the road, and you, you would have to wade, them, wade through them. Hecker also revealed that other locals had allegedly complained to um, animal control, so yeah, that's pretty much, who knows, yeah, they get a little lawsuit out of this shit. Okay, it says the U.S. Sun has previously covered some of the worst. Uh, grandmother shared horrendous image of a hole that was left in her stomach following a spider bite. Ooh. Four people were hospitalized after a wild fox attacks the group. See? That's Teeth the Wild Beast. A uh, baby was, was deleted by his family's wolf dog, Hybrid Pet. A 73-year-old woman was mauled to death by a bear in front of her husband. Yeah, they've been covering it. Most of the stories that I've been seeing, it's been pretty much been the sun that's been covering a lot of these Teeth the Wild Beast stories. Says what I'm saying is animal control is just as much at fault 
about the death is them dogs. They didn't do anything about any of this, he said. This is what I'm mad about. That lady should have never died. Nah, well, it was her time, man. Man's goings of the Lord. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Man's goings of the Lord. The Lord had her in the exact place, in the exact time that he wanted and needed her to be there, along with those dogs, to make everything go down perfectly. That was a perfect, um, see, the Lord is perfect, man. That was a perfect kill right there. And people, you know, you got these Christians, they don't believe in the scriptures really like that. They just believe that the Lord is good all the time. But the scripture says that the Lord hates and that um, he's the one that kills and he's the one that makes alive. So where's this all this love, love, love thing coming from from these people? Proverbs 20 and 24, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? See, it wasn't nothing she could have done about getting up that morning you know the lord planned all it out all of it out matter of fact let's go into ah, where is that at is it three let me see so lock you bear with me real quick is it nope that's not i might think it's joe 33 so lock you threes on it somewhere though Yep, Job 33, and let me start at verse 15. Hey, this right here is deep, man. The Lord is cold-blooded, man, and, and, and he's uncalculated. Uh, Psalms 147 and 5 talks about how his, um, his understanding is infinite. He has infinite understanding. You can never understand how the Lord could put something together like this. You can never understand, truly understand life or death, like how the Lord does that created, the, the actual creator of the things that you see around you. You couldn't comprehend or be on no level with the Lord. Matter of fact, the scriptures, who, who can counsel the Lord? Right? Um, Job 33 and 15, it says, In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep fall upon men, and slumberings upon the bed, then he opened at the ears of men and sealed their instructions. So while you're asleep, he seals your instructions, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and, and hide pride from man. So he's sealing your instruction while you're asleep. You get up and you just go about what he, he sealed in your, you know, for you to do. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. You cannot get out of the hands of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. I think it's another one. I'm um, sure if that's Jeremiah. Uh, it's like, yeah. Let's spend a minute on this one if this is the one. It's a good precept in um, Jeremiah. Oh, nope, must have been, um, let's go back real quick, it's a lot here. Should be that preset, we can find it right here soon. Oh, I was there, that's right, it was, it was Psalm Je uh, Jeremiah 10. Jeremiah 10 and 23, let's just go to it here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. See? So the Lord is in control of was in control of her getting up. She probably had a bagel. You know, probably uh, you know, grabbed her, her, her water canister or some shit out the fridge and was on her way. See? And this guy, he's just, you know, this guy that's, that's, that's you know, that's in, being interviewed, he's just thinking that something really could have been done about it. But it's not, it's nothing that could have been done about it. It was, it was already sealed. It's already written in the, um, in her judgment. Uh, let's see. The local animal control center said they had received two calls about the loose dogs and their health, but added they had no complaints about aggressive behavior. 25 fucking dogs running in the street that goddamn big and you're not gonna come through and try and get them dogs come on bro that's too many dogs too 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 many dogs davina's son justin corbin has set up a gofundme of course yeah we're struggling to come to terms with this loss and need help saying goodbye uh they have uh pet attacks some dog owners have shared how they face danger from their own pets um maria paula pina Culture Russ, that sounds like a Jake, a Eve, Northern Kingdom more than likely, from California, says she nearly died when her two American Bulldogs 
unexpectedly turned on her as she played with them. See? She shared the horrifying images of the wounds she was left with following the incident. I am alive by a miracle. I was not dying only from the bites, but because I lost a lot of blood, she told. Right? So, hey, there you have it, man. So let's just grab another scripture or two. Just prove that, of course, that she how about she was side is in control. And we'll get that spirit of wild, um, wild beast, too, because that's what that is. That's a spirit that um, the Lord created for vengeance. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. So you, you, you're, 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 you're dealing with a power that's, that's out of your mindset, man, because, like I said, again, Christianity, man, has really duped people into believing that the Lord just loves your ass and, and he loves everything that you do, do, and that's not the case, man. The, the Lord hates, man. He hates sin. He hates um, um, wickedness. But you let these Christians tell it you're already saved by grace and you can live however you want to live and, he, and you're going to be just fine, not knowing that they're going to get the business, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Wasn't nobody that could have helped this lady. Let's get that again. He says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me, I kill. Not Satan. Satan just get his assignment. He's one of those spirits of vengeance that gets his assignment. The Lord tell him, hey, go do this, 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 and this. I want it done this way. Go forth. And, it's, and it gets done. Satan can't resist the Lord. He can't say, well, no, I'm not feeling that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going about my way. I got some other people I'm trying to deal with right now. Nah, man. It says, um, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill. And I make alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Can't get around it. First Samuel 2 and 6 further backs it. There's plenty of scriptures that backs it. The Lord killeth, First uh, Samuel 2 and 6, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He brings down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. So every situation that everyone is in, the Lord set it all up for them, whether they're rich or poor. If you see a homeless person, the Lord done that to them. If you see a person that hit the big game or, or you know, they're, you know they, they, they get riches, the Lord done that for them. Right. So let's go to um, Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. And I had a situation with, with somebody one time talking about how the Lord created evil. And they, 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 they was arguing that he didn't. I'm like, well, didn't he create all things? They're like, well, yeah, but it was, a, it, was a, it was a lady. She was, matter of fact, she was teaching the Bible. And then, you know, once I brought this out, she was kind of like, well, uh, what, what, what version are you reading? I'm like, yeah, it's the KJV. Because she was some of these newer versions, you, these newer translations, you got to kind of, you know, just take it, you know, just use them for what they're, you know, you got to really be able to filter those, man, because some of those newer translations, they're not saying what the, the Bible is actually saying. They get to trying to change shit up because they don't want to make it seem as if the Lord is this killer. <laughs> you know, the Lord is this harsh. They want to make it seem as if the Lord loves everything and that, you know, he. He, he, you know, you're like this cute little puppy to him, you know, and you can do no wrong, you know. But I brought this one out to this lady as well. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? So once she's seen that one, you know, I, I you know, I, she had to cut her session short. I could see them, her wheels turning. Because now she's like, oh, shit, that really does say that. Let me let me backtrack because her whole premise of the lesson that she was teaching, I seen her on TikTok that she was teaching that the Lord loves and the Lord is not evil. I mean, you know, the Lord didn't create evil and this, that and the third, however she was wording it. And I, I left a scripture on her on her um, on her board, on her comment board. And she read it and she had a, you know, uh, matter of fact, she was teaching and had this guy. He was like her her assistant, so to speak, which she shouldn't have been teaching to begin with. Well, the scriptures talks about how a woman should um she should learn in silence and not teaching the churches, roughly paraphrasing. But she was trying to do her thing, but she had to shut that shit down when she seen the scripture come out. 
But um, let's get this one out. Let's get to the teeth of wild beasts. The spirits of vengeance that the Lord created. Going to the Apocrypha, the 1611 King James Bible. Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach. Chapter 39 and verse 28. Let's start there. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts. See? Them damn dogs, man. Bear maulings. I just done a lesson two, uh, a lesson yesterday. It was um, two bear maulings yesterday. A, a three-year-old ended up getting a business and um, a guy ended up, uh, you know, getting his ass ate up by two polar bears. The teeth of wild beasts, man. Alligators. Um, it's been crocodile um, 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 hookups. And, and of course, you've seen the article said that, you know, it's been a lot of um, pets that have been turning on their owners. Right. It says teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So these angels are not going to be like, you know, these spirits are not going to be like, well, Lord, uh, it's, you know, it's a pregnant lady, you know, you know, why not just let her have the baby, Lord, and whatever, whatever. No, no, no. They rejoice in getting a commandment to take her ass out the way that the Lord wanted her to be taken out. And you can get that. Um, You can see somebody being set up right here in um, First Kings, um, Ahab, if you're familiar with this story right here. Because you don't see these these pastors, they don't go off into these stories and um in their in their churches, man. They they just try to make it seem like the Lord is he loves everything you do, pass the collection plate, play some music, give you a catfish dinner, send you home, and they'll have you back by Wednesday night Bible study doing it all over again, man. And that's not, you know, Lord is not dealing with these Christian churches, man. First Kings chapter 22 i'm gonna start at verse 19 i'm just gonna read it in the nlt plainly it says then micaiah continue listen to what the lord says i saw the lord sitting on his throne with all the armies of heaven around him on his right hand and on his left so the lord he created the left hand side and the right hand side we just read that he created um, um good and evil so he has um angels that go forth and do certain biddings on the left and he got angels that go forth and do certain biddings on the right because he's a perfect balance can't have life without death right it says and um and the lord said who can entice ahab to go into battle against ramoth galiad so he can be killed there were many suggestions so the lord is setting you know got a counsel for somebody to be knocked off man and finally a spirit approached the lord and said i can do it how will you do this? The Lord asked. And the spirit replied, I will go. I will go out and inspire all Ahab's prophets to speak lies. You will succeed, said the Lord. Go, go ahead and do it. See? And the KJV, it says, and the Lord said unto him, wherewith? So he basically asked him, how are you going to do it? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. So did the Lord say, uh, uh no, you're not going to lie? No, 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 we're not lying around here. You know what I'm saying? No one tells no lies. No, the Lord is in control of all things, man. The scripture clearly says that the deceived and the deceiver are his. You don't think the Lord created <laughs> You know, he created the liar and the person that's being lied to because that's perfect balance. That's perfect balance. You 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 know you can't have, uh uh uh, uh you know a up without a down, a wet without a dry. Everything got a complete balance to it. You you can't have wicked, with um without um righteousness, or you can't have you know, whatever you can name. Everything has got a complete balance to it. It's got an absolute opposite to it to balance. Again, you can't have life without death. You can't have um, birth without death. And you go into Ecclesiastes chapter three, um, it, it explains, you know, um, there's a time for everything. And as you're going through those times, what you'll see is there's a pretty much you can't have a beginning without an end. See, can't have a start without a finish, so to speak. See, it's always a, a negative that goes with it. 
So the Lord, hey, he created spirits for vengeance, man. He created a, 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 a wicked or, or, or um, a, a set of angels that go forth and do his bidding as far as vengeance. And growing up in the Christian church, these are things that you will never hear. And that's why, you know, um, a lot of Christians, they get so offended when they actually really do hear the scriptures. Like, no, this is what the scripture says. Well, no, nah, no, nah, I don't really mean that. You're reading it out of context. What the fuck you mean out of context? It's saying exactly what it's saying. You know, but anyway, I'm going to end out there. Hey, another judgment, man. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And you're starting to see this happen a lot more. This is this is starting to pick up um, um, quite a bit. Never used to hear about um, so many maulings and people, you know, dying from animal attacks like how you're hearing about it, hearing about it now these days. So I'm going to end out there. I pray that the lesson was edifying. You know she had to be terrified. Look at her.